In today's video, I'm going to accept Red, White, and Bethune's challenge to answer 30 this or that questions. Let's go. Whoo! <laughs> It's cold, but I'm still in shorts. <laughs> what is going on YouTube? <laughs> Greetings from cold and snowy Missouri. It's in the 20s or teens right now. It's getting down in the single digits at night. Um, for those that don't know, I've been taking care of my mother. She was diagnosed with COVID. She's actually in the hospital now. She's doing much better. Still not out of the woods yet, but thank you for all the well wishes that I've gotten from all of you and concern about my mother. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I was really struggling what I was going to do a video about this week. I definitely want to do a video about cold weather camping because I'm living out of my van here in this cold, but that video is going to be a little bit more extensive. And with what's going on in my life right now, um, I don't really have the time to put that kind of video together. But luckily, my friends over at the YouTube channel, Red, White, and Bethune, challenged me to a this or that challenge of 30 questions. And that's a relatively easy video to put together. So that's what I'm gonna do. I accepted their challenge. I'm gonna answer those 30 questions and make sure you go over to their channel, watch their video, subscribe. They have a great channel. They travel in a bus with their family. A really amazing family. I got to meet them in Tampa. Just awesome, awesome people. All right, let's get in my van and warm up. All right, now that we're in the van, we're all nice and cozy. Got the pretty white snow background. Let's jump into this, this and that challenge. The first one is campground or boondocking? Definitely boondocking. If you've been watching my channel, I've boondocked at some amazing places. And while I do use campgrounds, I prefer to be boondocking in the middle of nowhere on BLM land or national forest land. Next up, class A, or towable. I'd like to say none of the above. I'm a class B guy, but if I had to choose between one of those two, I would choose a towable. My most popular video is a tour of Kaz's Airstream base camp that she tows with a Toyota 4Runner, and I'd probably get the exact same setup if I got a towable. Gas or diesel? Diesel. The biggest reason is I would really like to have a diesel heater that feeds off my diesel gas tank. While my Travato is a four season rig, it's kind of a pain in the butt to keep it a four season rig because I rely on propane. In my next video, I'm actually going to show you a hack that I use to extend the life of my propane here in my Travato. Composting toilet or black tank? Again, I'd like to say none of the above and say cassette toilet, but since I have to pick, I'm gonna say composting toilet. I hate black tanks in class B RVs because it takes up space that I could be using for more fresh water, which would allow me to boondock longer. Solar or generator? Again, I have a Volta system. Neither one of those is really important to me, but if I had to choose between the two, solar. Slides or no slides? No slides, smaller the better. Thousand trails or KOA? KOA. Even though I'm a Thousand Trails member and I've stayed at a ton of them, Thousand Trails are hit and miss in quality. I've stayed at a few KOAs and they kind of have standard type of quality. So based on my own experience, I would prefer to stay at a KOA, although you'll probably find me in a Thousand Trails because I'm a lifetime Thousand Trails member. Harvest Toast or Walmart parking lot? That's a no-brainer. Harvest Toast. If you don't know what Harvest Toast is, it's a network of wineries, breweries, golf courses, museums, farms that allow RVers to stay the night in exchange for buying some food if you're staying on a farm, buying a glass of wine if you're at a winery. The membership fee is only $60 a year, somewhere around there when you use a discount code. Every Harvest Host member has a discount code, so if you got a friend that has Harvest Host, you can use theirs, but I have mine down below if you use it. You'll get $15 off and I'll get 15 bucks. National Park or State Park? National Park. If you would have asked me this about two months ago, I would have said State Park, but recently a federal court handed down a decision saying that YouTubers like me can film in national parks and post it on YouTube and make money off of it. We're protected by the First Amendment. So because of that, I'm gonna say National Parks. Beaches or mountains? 
Ah, that's a tough one. Mountains. I love both of them, but nothing beats camping in the Colorado Rockies. All right, just a quick pause. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Propane fire or wood fire? Definitely wood fire. I'm not a huge fan of propane, period. So I rather have the romanticism of a, you know, fire outside of my rig, you know, making all the popping and crackling sounds that wood makes, things like that. So I would definitely say wood fire. Dogs or cats? Definitely dogs. Tow vehicle or no tow vehicle? No tow vehicle. That's the beauty of having a class B van. I don't have to tow a vehicle. I do have a motorcycle, but I'm not actually towing it. Buckies or loves? I wish I could say Flying J, but I'll go with Buckies. Desert or snow? As beautiful as this is, definitely desert. I love desert camping. It's actually where I'm going next. I love that you have warm days, but cool nights with no humidity. Pull through or back in? Honestly, with a class B, it doesn't matter, but to make it easy, we'll say pull through. S'mores or hot dogs? Definitely hot dogs. I love a good hot dog. Fishing or hiking? Definitely hiking. I have a playlist of all the hikes I've done. If you haven't watched it, you should go check it out. I hike to Machu Picchu. I hike in Patagonia. I hike to Rainbow Mountain. I hike to Mount Chavano in Colorado. So, yeah, definitely hiking. I do like to fish, but I prefer hiking. Camping alone or camping with friends? Again, another tough one. I'm an introvert, so I really enjoy camping alone, but sometimes you crave human contact, so I'm gonna go with camping alone. <laughs> and then going out and seeking uh, my friends and going to their campsites and hanging out with them, but, but probably camping alone. Winter in Florida or winter in Arizona? Definitely winter in Arizona. I like Florida, I just came from there. You should go check out my Florida Everglades video when, where I ran into some crocodile. But I really love the desert as I mentioned before. So, Berkey or no Berkey? So definitely Berkey, but not the big giant silver thing that you see everybody carrying, the sport Berkey. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm always talking about this thing, I love it. There's the little, the little filter there. It's the same as any other Berkey filter. You, you get about 600 refills with this and the filter to replace it is about $20. So you're basically getting 600 bottles of water for, for $20. You can take it on a hike with you. It has this really cool design where you never touch uh, where you put your mouth. So you're not getting your finger germs on it. It costs 30 bucks for this thing and it comes with a filter. So highly recommend this. I think it's linked below. This is probably my favorite van life gadget that I have. This next one's funny. Washer and dryer in your rig or a laundromat? I mean, if I had the water capacity, I would say washer and dryer in the rig, but that's not reality. So definitely laundromat, air fryer, or Instapot. Again, if you've been watching my channel, you, you know I don't cook that much, although I did do a video recently where I made a meal. Um, but if I had to choose one of those, man, I kind of want both. But I, I'd say probably the air fryer just because I think it would be easier to make meals in that than to make meals in the Instapot. Planner or spontaneous? I'd like to think I'm a planner, but I changed my plan so much that I'm gonna have to go with spontaneous. Remodeled interior or leave it factory? <laughs> leave it factory. Anybody who walks in my rig thinks I bought it like a day ago. <laughs> my van looks exactly the way it did the first day. I bought it for the most part, other than maybe the three inch lift I put on it. But yeah, I like, I like it nice out of the factory. Shower in rig or RV bathhouse. I wish taking a bath in a stream or lake was an option, but I'm definitely gonna say RV bathhouse. The biggest reason for that is I'm in a Travado K. It doesn't have a whole lot of freshwater capacity and the shower is not the easiest to use. Clam tent or awning? Honestly, I think they both suck. I wish I could have neither one of them. But if I had to choose one, I would say awning because it's just hooked up to here and I don't have to do anything. Move weekly or move monthly? Definitely move weekly. I tried the whole monthly thing last month. I don't like traveling that way in an RV. When I traveled internationally, I did stay in a country for 30 days, but that's just different. It's so I could absorb the culture 
And my travel style now in an RV is a little bit different. I like to move more often. Um, that's the reason why my channel's name is 30 in a wake up, by the way, because I used to live in a country for 30 days and then move to a new country. All right, next, hotspot in the rig or RV park Wi-Fi. Well, since I like to boondock a lot, definitely hotspot in the rig. I made a whole video about how I connect to the internet in my RV. I prefer to be out in the boonies, so I need a bunch of different ways to connect to the internet since I'm a full-time YouTuber. That's what I do to make a living. A lot of people complain about RV park internet, but I've actually had pretty good success in RV parks using their internet, and I've done it a few times, but I prefer to have my own hotspot. Blackstone or charcoal grill? Again, I don't cook that much. One of my New Year's resolutions is to learn how to grill. I don't know how to grill, but I think of those two, I would definitely say probably charcoal. All right, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Red, White, and Bethune for challenging me. My next few videos are probably gonna be videos about camping in cold weather. It's gonna get down into the negatives, like negative four, negative five over the next few days. And I really wanna see how well my van holds up and I'm gonna document that. So if that kind of content interests you and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video.